Welcome to day four of our Santa six pack challenge. Oh yes, five days to get abs. And we aren't just talking about fitness here. We're gonna do 10 minutes of abs and then we've got five minutes in the kitchen to talk about nutrition. And today we are doing an upper abs workout. Oh yes, these top ones right here, we're gonna work on getting those results. So make sure that you stick with me for this 10 minutes because the real key is in the kitchen with nutrition. All right, day four, let's get started. You know the drill. We have got 10 exercises, 40 seconds each with a 15 second rest. And remember, you've already got to this point. Do not quit now. Now is where those results really start to kick in and you do not want to miss today's tip. All right, we are going to start off with some crunches. So you're going to come all the way down to the ground. You're going to pull that core in nice and tight. Remember, that's why I say every single day to make sure that we are aligned and ready to get those best results. We're going to pull that core in nice and tight and we're just going to crunch up and down. So you're really working the top part of your abs. So think about going straight up rather than thinking like crunching forwards. I want to bring those elbows wide. We're not going to bring them in like this. You're going to keep them nice and long and we're just going to come straight up to the sky. So that's it. Keep thinking about using the top part of your abs to crunch up. All right, here we go. We are going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out to make sure that we don't get dizzy. And most importantly, we are going to finish this workout because your results my friends are gonna be at the end of the workout. All right, here we go. Lifting up, you've got 10 seconds left right here. Keep those elbows nice and wide, plant those feet flat into the ground, and then really think about lifting up through your chest. Give me one more, and gently release. Okay, we're gonna shoot those legs up to the sky. We're gonna take into starfish taps. All right, but we're gonna bring those legs just a little bit closer towards you. We're gonna bring those hands behind our head, lifting up, and you're just gonna tap up, that's it. So just think about tapping on the inside of your ankle, point those toes, straighten those legs, and take it nice and slow so you can really think about using the upper part of your abs to lift your chest up. We really wanna think about that muscle to mind connection. What are we trying to achieve right now? And then make that happen. All right, here we go. Got a little bit of obliques in here as well, but mostly working your upper abs. All right, here we go. Looking good, my friends. Remember, you are on day four. If you haven't done the other days, you can always go back and do them after this. And then we have got day five coming up on the next video. All right, lifting all the way up through the chest. Here we go. You've got this. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, one, and gently release. All right, great one here. We have got reach through. You're gonna bring your hands together and bring your two fingers right here, touching. You're gonna bring your hands in between your knees and you're just gonna lift up and then down. So that's it, so you're gonna go all the way up, hold that core at the top and then release down. You've got 40 seconds, let's go. All right, what are you giving this workout right now out of 10 in terms of how you are showing up and your energy? Are you giving it a 10? Because if you give it a 10, you're gonna get a 10 results back. If you give it like a five, you're gonna get five results back. So really think about how can you lift up just a little bit more. If you wanna make it more challenging, don't come all the way down. You're just gonna lift up and really try and push through your knees. That's it, here we go. Looking good, looking strong. You have got 10 seconds left right here. Breathing in through your nose, exhale everything out. Come on, lift up just a little bit more for the final three, two, Last one, and gently release down. All right, we have got some hollow body arms. So, what does that look like? We're gonna shoot the legs right here. We're gonna extend the arms over the top of your head, and you're just gonna bring those arms up and over. And tell you what, you are gonna feel it in those upper abs. So point those toes nice for me, straighten those legs, lifting up through the chest, and then just arms up over the top of your head. So really wanna think about if you can bring your chest up just a little bit higher, so you can feel that crunch, and then the arms are going over the top of your head. Try and relax your jaw, no tension in your neck, and that's it, keep on breathing through it. Here we go, lifting up just a little bit, higher try and kind of like wiggle your shoulder blades up off the mat and then extending those arms over the top of your head if you feel like it's too much on your neck you can just hold right here and hold that static crunch you can even just extend one arm over the top but really thinking about lifting up through your chest so that you're bringing your shoulders up off the ground here we go for three and two and one and release all right we're going to come up into a v-sit right here i'm going to come into a v-sit pulses 
Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and then you're just gonna pulse up and down right here. So you wanna really think about relaxing, dropping down your shoulders and then lifting up through your chest. And here we go, tiny little pulses and you lean back as far as you can. If you wanna start up here, fantastic. And if you wanna just keep on moving it down just a little bit more and then drop those shoulders down, lifting up through your chest and telling yourself, I've got this. Find that grit inside of yourself. Give yourself a smile, make yourself Push towards your goals. What is it that you want to achieve right now? Where is it that you want to go? Lean back just a little bit further, pulsing up and down, core is engaged. You have got 10 seconds left to go. Let's keep on pushing. Now lean back even further. This is where it starts to kick in. Work that core. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! All right, we're going to take it into sitting up bicycles. You're like, what is sitting up bicycles? Well, let me show you. All we're going to do is we're going to twist from side to side. Now, modified version, you can bring your heels down the ground and then just lift and twist from side to side. A little bit of oblique stuff here, but a little bit at the top. Or you can make it a little bit more challenging and you can twist. Now, if you lean back further, you're gonna work a little bit more of the top part of your abs. That's it, here we go. Opening up through the chest, giving yourself a nice little smile, knowing that with every single rep that you do right now, you are feeling amazing. You are feeling great. You are feeling strong. Give yourself some affirmations to keep on pushing yourself forward. You are well over halfway through this exercise. What are you made of? Tell yourself, I've got this. I've got the strength to carry on. I'm brave. I'm courageous. I'm disciplined. Let's go for it. Come on, breathe in. And here we go for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! All right, we're going to take it into some in and out. So you're going to bring your elbows down on the ground right here. Plant your palms flat onto the mat. Pull that core in nice and tight, and you're gonna take it into in and out right here. So bring the knee in and then extend. Now, if you bring the knee in just to that 90 degrees, it's gonna make it a bit more challenging. What I want you to do is still think about tucking those hips underneath. That's where you're gonna to start to feel it, and your body should be trembling. Those abs should be on fire. That's it, here we go. Tuck the core in. So there's a difference here between this and there's a difference between this right here. I want you to really think about tucking those hips underneath. Palms are flat on the ground. Now push it out nice and extend and then bring it all the way back in again. Here we go. Inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. So strong, everybody. Come on, push those heels into the sky. Think about something's pushing you all the way back and you've got this. Let's go for three and two and one and gently release. Okay, two exercises left to go. Do not quit now. We're gonna take it into our leg drop circles. So all the way down to the ground, you're gonna bring your hands onto the mat and we're going to take it into leg drop circles this time going down and then out so before in one of our challenges we went out this time we're going down and then out to the side so put core is engaged relax your head relax your shoulders relax your jaw no tension and all we're doing is tucking those hips underneath and taking some nice circles oh, enjoy that beautiful Oh, burn in your belly. You're like, beautiful burn in your belly. Yeah, so if you keep saying it's a beautiful burn in your belly, it's gonna feel like a beautiful burn in your belly. And when those abs are looking exactly how you want them to, you're gonna be like, oh yes, these are my beautiful abs. All right, here we go, less than 10 seconds. And then we've got one more exercise all the way through. Give me one more, take it down a little bit lower and then all the way back up again. Now gently bring those knees in towards you and roll all the way up. And we're gonna take it down into our low plank. We're gonna take it forwards and backwards a great exercise to work that top part of your core. So bring those hands either together, modified version, or apart. So you can come down onto your knees, but up onto your toes, and we're gonna take it forwards and backwards. Core is engaged. You've got a nice straight line from your head, through your shoulders, through those hips, all the way through to your heels. Looking good, my friends. Come on, this is the final exercise. Keep on pushing forward. You can do this. Now just breathe in and breathe out. That's it, core is pulled in. Push down into your hands, belly button is engaged, hips are both facing down towards the ground. You have 10 seconds left to go. If you came down onto your knees, pop back up onto your toes and push yourself for the final five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, Woo! day four, we crushed it. Make sure that you do not miss day five. You've got this far on the challenge, do not skip the very last day and do not skip our nutrition section. All right, let's head on over to the kitchen. 
Congratulations for making it to day four in my kitchen. Oh yes, you are the one who's gonna get those results because you are showing up. We talk about 20% is the fitness, which we just did, 80% is nutrition, and remember that 100% is your mindset. Inside of my Burn by Rebecca Louise app, I have a whole section of mindset meditation that's gonna help elevate your thinking to the next level to help you get those results to the next level. All right, so today, we are talking about the do's and don'ts of snacking. Now, I used to think that you shouldn't snack, that you shouldn't eat food after six o'clock in the evening. Who was I wrong? In 2013, when I got introduced to my nutrition plan, I couldn't believe the difference that I felt. I started to feel packed full of energy. I finally started to see abs. I thought that you had to run all day on the treadmill to get them. Turns out it's not, it's all down to nutrition. And I just started to feel better and more positive within myself. My hair grew more and my skin got clearer as well. And so one thing we're gonna talk about today is is do eat protein throughout the day. Yes, because why? If we want to build this lean muscle, we've got to have protein that's gonna help us build it. And we are gonna go through a whole bunch of yummy snacks today that's gonna help you get those results. And what do we not want to do? Because we've got the do's, yes, we've got the do's, which is do eat protein throughout the day and do have healthy snacks. And the don't, the don't is don't starve yourself. If you are hungry, you want to feed your body. Otherwise, you're gonna slow down your metabolism and you're not gonna fuel yourself. If you don't have fuel, you don't have energy, you're gonna get headaches, you're gonna feel lethargic, you're gonna feel hangry. And let's face it, are you happy when you're hungry? No, but we need to feed our body great nutrition. So that's why I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of my favorite snacks today. Now, the most important thing is that you prepare because as Jim Rohn said, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So all you gotta do is go out, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of list of these foods in the description so you know exactly what they are, but go out and get the food in your house because if you have the good stuff in, you're less likely to order the bad stuff. So a great little snack is I actually have one of my healthy meal protein uh, shakes as a snack as well. Yes, I have it for breakfast every day, but also if I'm kind of like running and I'm on the go, I'll make sure that I'm getting my healthy smoothie in. And actually tomorrow, I'm gonna to share with you a little bit more about what is in my smoothie and why I believe that's more important than having a whole bunch of other food for breakfast. I also love as a mid-afternoon pick-me-up, my, one of my personal favorites is our protein iced coffee. And I'm not even a massive coffee drinker, but this is amazing. It has got 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. You just mix it with water. You don't even need milk or soy milk or almond milk, and it tastes amazing. Again, this is available on my nutrition plan, and we are almost available in all 94 countries. So again, if you wanna get started on my nutrition plan, make sure that you download my app burned by Rebecca Louise and inside of the nutrition page it says book nutrition call and you'll get on a call with either me or one of my amazing coaches. Okay, this is one of our favorites in the house, is bananas and cashew butter. Now, I don't typically eat too many bananas unless I'm working out, uh, because I like fruits that are less in sugar and high in, higher in antioxidants, like berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. And when I have a workout day, I'll eat a banana and have a couple of pieces of cashew butter kind of smeared on top. So it's really easy, I just get a spoon out and stick it on my banana and I eat that because this has got some protein in. It also is a fat as well. So just remember that if you are eating cashew butter with your banana, you're not eating a whole bunch of other nuts throughout the day. Another go-to of mine is my Greek yogurt and raspberries. This Greek yogurt, I'm always looking at making sure the Greek yogurt has higher amount of protein, less sugar and less fat, uh, because that means that I've got a good Greek yogurt there. They are sometimes a little bit more tart, so make sure that you've got some tasty berries as well to go along with that. I also have protein bars and protein bites. Uh, these kind of like help with my sugar cravings or if I've got like, I'm like, I want some chocolate. This has also got protein in as well and really great on the go. I don't eat protein bars every single day because I don't feel that me personally, I get amazing results with them. So I might have one like one every like two to three days. If I'm traveling, I might have one every day just because it's a better snack, something easy on the go. Um, but I'm not completely going crazy with that. 
apple, another great thing that you can have with your Greek yogurt or your cashew butter. Apples are really great and high in fiber. And your eggs as well. So eggs is a great protein snack. Just be careful where you're getting your eggs from. Uh, you guys know that I work with four paws, so just be careful where you're getting your eggs from because if you're not aware, they do do some nasty things to the male chicks. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you are not just getting free range eggs, but you actually know where your eggs are coming from. Soy nuts are another great protein snack that I have here as well. Again, you wanna be careful that you're not overdoing it with all of the nuts because otherwise that would be too high in fat. Another great snack of mine, kind of like a brunch snack after I've had my shake aloe tea is some avocado on toast with some smoked salmon. If you are vegan, you can have it with tofu. Uh, if you like, you can even, if you're not vegan or pescatarian, you can even have like a slice of uh, uh, turkey on there instead. But this has got your good fats in as well. You've got some good complex carbohydrates. It's pretty more of a big, a bit of a bigger snack. Uh, but again, it's really great for kind of like after brunch. Maybe if you've had your shake hello tea, you go do a workout, you have your post recovery shake, and then you have this afterwards because you do want to get extra carbohydrates on the days that you are working out if you are looking to build lean muscle. And then lastly, uh, some veggies with some hummus. Uh, this stuff is really simple. This is actually cooked vegetables. I can just pop in the microwave. So if you want them hot, it's kind of nice hot with your hummus. Another great protein snack as well. So this is all the do's. All the do's is make sure that you're eating protein throughout the day. It's going to speed up your metabolism. You know, when I'm really looking to take my results to the next level, I'm eating every two to three hours and a certain amount of protein. Everybody's gonna be slightly different. Again, if you get started on my nutrition plan, I'll kind of break down the protein for you as you get started. But if you are eating three main meals and three snacks, and the main meals maybe have around 24 grams of protein and your snacks have 10 to 15 grams of protein, you're gonna be pretty sorted. And again, the shakes are so great because they don't have so many calories in, but I'm gonna be talking a little bit more tomorrow about what is in my breakfast smoothie that I've been having since 2013. That has helped me feel amazing every single day. So the do today is do eat protein throughout the day and the don't is do not starve yourself. If you are hungry, if you need fuel in your body, eat something, just make sure it is the right thing that's gonna help you elevate your mood, elevate your energy, and elevate those results. Tomorrow is our final day. Do not go anywhere. You do not wanna miss the crescendo of our five day six pack Santa challenge. You guys have done amazing so far. If you have any questions for me, make sure that you put it in the comments. And of course, send me your snack ideas. Send me your results that you are getting from this five day challenge and tag me on Instagram. Facebook and uh, TikTok, all the places, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful and I will see you for our final day tomorrow.